The first thing I need to do here is build a wall using blocks of copper. What I'm going to do here is build a 10x10 10 10 wall. I'm doing this on survival and peaceful difficulty. This is a legit survival world. In other words, I have never used creative here. It won't take me too long to get this wall completed. So there we go, that's one completed copper wall. What I'm going to do now is hide everything on the screen so you can see the wall a bit better. Now to leave this going for around eight hours overnight, let's see what happens to the wall. I will be honest, I was expecting a bit more than this to happen considering how long I left this going for. Just a few blocks have changed to exposed copper. I'm going to need to leave this for a very long time before I get some interesting results, I think. It's starting to change from the top right corner now. It's taking a lot longer than I was expecting, so this won't be something that happens quickly. I will keep coming back to this though and checking to see what's happening. So there we go, the wall has finished changing to exposed copper. I'm going to need to leave this for quite a bit of time, I would have thought, before it starts changing again. A couple of blocks have now gone green. This is the weathered copper state. This should look really cool when the entire wall goes green. I'm going to wait until that happens. The wall is changing green quite nicely now, and an annoying sheep has decided to get right in the way. Get out of the way, sheep. There we go, go to the side. Right, that's better. As I was saying, the wall is mostly green, but still needs to change a little bit, so I'm going to come back to this in a few hours. The wall is now completely green and made up of weathered copper. I quite like this, it has an old effect, and it also looks pretty nice. I think I preferred the shiny copper at the start though, so let's leave it a bit more. There we go, so the wall is finally starting to transform into its final state, oxidised copper also should have the oldest look to it when it goes completely blue. So now over half the wall has gone blue. I say it's blue, but oxidised copper is sort of a greeny blue. Should be interesting to see what the wall looks like when it's completely changed though. And there we go, we finally have a fully oxidised copper wall. I have left my Nintendo Switch console on for around three days to get this done, so... It takes a very long time. I think the final effects though are pretty cool. A very old feel to the wall. Now if you have an axe you can restore the copper blocks back to how they originally were. You can see here I'm scraping the blocks. This is pretty cool. You can make some interesting patterns by doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go, so let's hide everything so you can see the wall again properly. So there we go, that's what the wall looks like now. It might not be the best thing you've ever seen, but overall this is a really cool feature and you can create some really interesting patterns or designs using it. Finally, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. Check out the pinned comment for some older Minecraft videos. And thanks for watching.